Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY and today we're just going to be doing a pretty basic video on how to set up WISE cams and this will cover some other WISE devices as well. And also just kind of checking out the WISE Cam V3 because it just recently came out and I have not had a chance to actually use one yet, but I got a couple for our warehouse space um, so that we can just have a little bit of extra security. But WISE is just a really cool brand that's definitely newer to the game. And what's awesome about them is their really ultimate goal, in my opinion, is just really budget security systems. Um, so from cameras to motion sensors, uh, like with floodlights to actual uh, motion brake sensors. So you have like a door that comes open or a window that comes open. You can get notified for stuff like that. They even have branched out in other smart devices like smart watches and um, I think thermostats and some other stuff like that. So. Uh, without any more talking about that stuff, let's just go ahead and see what we get in the WISE V3. So I'm pretty excited about this WISE V3 because one of the big features that stands out to me is the fact that this one is an indoor-outdoor camera. Every previous um, WISE camera, so like WISE V1, V2, um, and up until V3 have just been indoor cameras and you basically had to buy housings if you wanted to put them outside. So they could go outside, but um, you know, they, they only last a few days if you didn't buy like a waterproof housing for it, um, which I have a couple at home and they work really well. We have one here outside that's um, been working really well also that I will show you guys. I'm actually going to show you guys my uh, smartphone after we get this one set up so I can show you all the cameras that we have set up. It's pretty cool. Um, so as you can see here, Wisecam V3, we have a QR code in the bottom and this one's going to be set up just like pretty much any other Wise camera. So you can go ahead and take the peel off. You are going to need to pull out your power brick. One thing that's already standing out about this one for sure is that it actually has a lead coming off the back. I'm gonna get this rubber band off. That it looks like it's like a USB um, extension. Yeah, it's a micro USB extension with like a, you know, what it looks like like a waterproof sleeve on it. So that's kind of interesting because before uh, this part here actually came out and you just plug this straight into the back of the camera. But now it just looks like we take this and Oh yeah, that's definitely a really nice fit. So it's like a silicone sleeve that really uh, feels like it'd do a pretty good job at weatherproofing. Um, it is going to come with the power brick. They pretty much always have, so that's nice. This one actually comes with drywall screws now. Um, this is really typical. They come with a magnetic base. Um, and a lot of times they'll come with adhesive, but I don't... Huh, that might actually be something that I discontinued. Um, or at least don't include with this one yet, because normally they come with like a, a 3M adhesive um, round strip that you put on the bottom, and uh, that made it to where you could just, you know, adhesive it to wherever, and then you just stick your camera on there, and you can easily take it off if you need to do anything to it. Um, but now they just include, include some screws, which I normally go the screw out anyways. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's right here. So we still do get the adhesive, and we get screws now. I don't think they included screws before, so definitely a little bit of an upgrade. So we'll go ahead and plug in our USB power brick. I've got an uh, adapter right back here. Or sorry, an outlet. All right, I got it plugged in. We're gonna hear like a noise, probably say ready to connect. Got a bunch of sawdust on the screen, or camera, don't do that. Okay, this one didn't, oh, you know what? Because we need to actually press the button. So there used to be a tiny little button on the bottom. It looks like now there's like a big kind of silicone button that you can't really see that well. There's also a slot for an SD card. I don't know off the top of my head what the max for these are. I know that the V1 and V2 max was 32 gigs. Um, it is micro SD only, if I can get it open. I'll try to use a knife to help me. Um, and it does make it to where you're probably wondering, you know, what do you want an SD card? Well, the SD card makes it to where you can record um, substantially more uh, footage. So you get more overall clips and highlights. Like it usually records, I think it's like 10, 15 seconds burst whenever it senses motion. That's just like standard, but it only does maybe, you know, let's say five or 10, but you add an SD card, you can go back up to like a week or two. Um, and then if you get the, the uh, Wisecam Plus, which I really recommend because it's so cheap, um, I think you buy it per camera and it makes it to where the camera can record as long as the motion's going on. So you can get like five minute clips, you know, if you have a break in or something, you might not just want the first 10, 15 seconds of it, you might want more. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up our Wise app. And as you can see, I have a lot of cameras on here. I don't have anything else. I just have cameras. Um, they're all V1, V2s. Um, and I think one of them might be a V3 or an outdoor camera. Um, but just to give you guys an idea, so like here's one that I have set up for my dog. This is really nice, you know, whenever we're, um, you know, not in the room or we're, uh, we, we've gone out to eat or something. We just want to make sure that he's okay. 
Um, this is really nice, just having like a little cage camera. Um, you can go full screen with these. They're actually really high quality. You actually have a, a really, you know, high field of zoom. Now, obviously in like some low light situations and stuff like that, you know, the, the better the lighting, the, the better the scenario. So as you can see here, this is like our PC Bro showroom. And uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. I can actually zoom in and kind of read some words here. So, um, I mean, for them being like, you know, 20 to $30 a camera, it really is nice. So here's one of our cameras that we have outside and I'm gonna be adding another one facing the opposite direction. This one's really great. I mean, just look at how wide of a field of view you get. And this one is not a waterproof housing because this is just a wise V2. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our new camera. So we're gonna go to the plus, we're gonna go to add device. It is a camera. So here's some of the other stuff they have. You can see like lifestyle stuff. Oh, I didn't even know they had this much stuff. They have a sprinkler, that's kind of cool. I'd be scared of it going off on its own, but still kind of cool. A lot of sensors, those are pretty cool. We actually, I think we might have a wise doorbell, I think, I'm not really sure. Oh, got out of that. All right, go back. My device, camera, we're adding a wise cam V3. So that's actually a new, it's like its own thing. So you can see Wise Cam. They have like the pan, which goes back and forth. They have the outdoor, which I've heard kind of bad things about. Um, and I think that one's wireless too. And then we have the Wise V3. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Yep, we got the flash of red already. Yep. Pull the vase away and press setup onto your camera. I think it should make a noise. There we go. Ready to connect. Oh, it used to be a lady saying it, now it's uh, a guy. So you can put, I've heard, ready to connect. Um, we are going to have to do a 2.4 gigahertz network. It does not support five gigahertz ready band. It has to be a 2.4. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this away. So you can see here, I have a 2.4 gigahertz um, network now and it's not telling me, hey, you can't do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the password. All right, so we got our password typed in, and now we have this massive QR code that you're going to actually use the camera to scan. QR code scan. Usually it does it Please really wait. quick, so if it doesn't do it quick, you might need to turn up your brightness, or the camera could be um, you know, fogged up or have stuff covering the um, lens, so I just put, I've heard that it's scanned, and it says it's, it's gonna take a minute, so you just kind of gotta let it Setup sit. Completed. Look at that. Setup completed. So now let's uh, just make sure that it's actually working. So once, <clears throat> we get it set up, we get to give it a name. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this one, um, call it PC Bros Outback. It could be more specific if you wanted to, obviously you can name it whatever whatever the heck you want. So here you can see it's trying to talk about the, uh, so we actually get a, two free, uh, a free two week trial. Um, so yeah, you get full length motion activated videos that saved the cloud for 14 days. Now, like I said, you can also just add your SD card and that works really good as well. So we can go ahead and do share device. Um, I actually do wanna share this with a couple people um, such as Matt and uh, a couple of other people here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this away just because you know I don't want you guys to be emailing anyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and share it with Matt as well. All right, so we got those connected. So now we should be able to click this and we should get some feed. Now it is telling me there's a new firmware update. We'll do that in a minute. I'm just gonna press cancel for now, but look at that. It's recording me while uh, I'm recording it. It's like a live action. The quality looks really good because um, I'm actually like looked up a light right now. Now these cameras will change their bit rate based on like how good the internet is and how much action's going on. Like you can see right now it's really sharp, but if I move it around a lot, you can see it gets really pixelated until it kind of focuses again um, and the internet's stable and everything. Um, one thing you can do as well, just to go over a couple of the features of these cameras, um, you can have your sound on and off. I'm gonna go and turn that off because that's gonna get annoying. You can record, so if I press record, it'll automatically record to my phone or wherever you have it set to record to. This is nice, you can use them as intercoms essentially. Hello? 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 So you can see, just talk through the camera. So that's pretty cool. You can also take a, oh, I just started recording. Just like you can record, you can also take a picture. Um, and then if you go to more, you can do things like see what the album that the camera's taken, you can do time lapse, you can turn on a siren, which I've never done before. You can also turn the camera off. Um, and then you can also go to playback. This is the nice part. So you can see here, no micro SD card recorded. Continuous recording requires a micro SD card. 12 second cloud recordings can be uh, reviewed in events. So you can see, I can't even see playback at all without an SD card, which I didn't even know. So we will be adding a 32 gig micro SD card to it, which I'll go ahead and grab one in just a second and show you guys that, assuming we have one. But as you can see, I can go to like all my recent events. Subscribe to Toasty DIY. Subscribe to Toasty DIY, what's up? Matt just got on the camera. <laughs> I love that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see on all the recent events, 
um, you can see like specific cameras and what type of motion it was or what type of sound it was. And you can go back and watch those, uh, you know, 15, 12 second clips. Obviously, if you paid for the subscription, they're gonna be much longer depending on when the sound and motion stops. All right, so now the last thing I'm gonna show you guys before we actually go and mount the camera, uh, just like I said I would, is putting in the SD card. It's really simple. Um, this here is just a really cheap 32 gig SD card. They really don't have many like requirements to my knowledge because I, I usually pay like a couple bucks a pus uh, a couple bucks a piece for these things because you really don't need to get like an insane class or anything like that. Um, they've all just worked for me. I've never had a you know no name brand that just didn't work in these cameras. So now we've gotten the SD card in. We may have to restart the camera to see if it actually worked. I'm gonna try to figure that out. Uh, PC Bros up back. All right, so now let's see, view, yep, view playback, it's already there. So obviously we just inserted the card, so the playback has already ended, but now we can actually go and view the playback and uh, you know, monitor all the events and everything. So let's go ahead and get on mounting this camera. All right, so I'm up on my ladder right now, and I got the actual metal piece that's gonna be the magnet mounted right out here where my finger's pointing, it's, it's really hard to see. And uh, yeah, it was, it was not fun to do. I actually ended up going with the adhesive just because I forgot how freaking hard it was to actually screw something in out here. But um, what I'm doing right now and what I really recommend you like always do in Sniper Wise Cam is you don't wanna have to go back up to wherever the heck you're mounting this thing like five times. So I recommend you know bringing your phone with you uh, wherever you go to mount this. Um, so then you can actually get a good idea you know, on if you like the positioning or not. So I think I'm gonna angle mine like this. And let's go ahead and see how that looks. Gotta find the magnet. All right, there's the magnet. That thing's actually really strong, surprisingly. Yeah, the other camera, like I said, has a housing, so it's actually um, mounted with no magnet. It's actually screwed in uh, to this area, so. And right, so I'm just turning it a little bit more because obviously we don't really need to be recording like the side of the building or anything like that. But yeah, I think I'm actually liking this position. What do you guys think? It looks pretty good. So we can see like our back entryway, which would be nice to see if we have like packages and stuff. I can see a really good amount of the parking lot. And then if you look, we have really good coverage now of our whole entire <clears throat> back area. So you can see we have PC Rows Outback, PC Rows Space Outback. I need to change that and make it a little more obvious. Maybe I'll make this one like PC Bros Ramp. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And you can change the name right here. So make this PC Bros rear and then the other one can just uh, remain PC bros out back so yeah now you can see we have uh, coverage like it gets like half of that building in the back and then if we go to our other PC bros out back yeah it's pretty good so we have like a nice lapsed coverage so we can really see you know most of everything now which is nice all right here we go so you just go to firmware version and then you can see what version we're on and what version we can update to so we'll go ahead and press update all right so I think that's pretty much it for this video. We showed you guys how to set up your new Wise Cam, and like I said, it'll cover many other devices. We also showed you guys like a basic overview on, you know, what's just like some decent mounting uh, methods and what areas you can cover with the camera, um, and just a few of the features. So if you guys want any more um, videos like this on, you know, like Wise products or security products, let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one.